Ah. So, uh, I'm not in this one, am I? Yeah, um, I'm sorry, you didn't make the list, Freddy. But, but I'm confirmed. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's, that's great. I mean, you're going to bring a lot of new people into the game. So, so what I am to you? A walking dollar sign? <laughs> no, 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 trust me, trust me. It's, it's, it's not like that, okay? Like, it's not you, it, it's me. Okay. We're not actually cool, are we? Nope. Well, it's on the books for me. I already got my dream chapter. I got this little guy right here. I got Alien, the game of Dead by Daylight. And it's been over a year since you've been in the game now. And despite a lot of people's gripes that people have with you on both sides, they can never make me quit you. In all seriousness, no, this chapter basically revitalized my love for the game. And to this day, even if I'm not having a good time, I could always chill with a fun game of tail attacks, trying to fist for some really, really fun and flashy clips that I can get with the tail attack. The sound design, the gameplay loop, everything about this character is immaculate to me. And I am so happy to be in a place where I got my dream chapter in the game of Dead by Daylight. But this is not about you. Because plenty of people have asked me since I have my dream chapter now, what are my most wanted chapters now that I have the number one? What are my runner-ups? But I'm not going to give you just one runner-up. I'm going to give you three. I'm going to give you three of my most wanted chapters after Alien. Which is also nice because every time I'm asked this in the future, whether that be down in the comments below or on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash the Mr. Headache, uh, I can just direct you to this video. So yeah, going to get started. Obviously, The Predator. If you guys been around the channel or stream for a while now, you know that the very first horror movie I was ever allowed to see was Aliens vs. Predator. When I was a wee lad, when I was a wee teen, my father busted out Alien vs. Predator and said that I think you're old enough for this. And then boom, that's what cascaded into the rest of this. I'd seen like clips and scenes from other horror movies, but honestly, I was too young and too scared to ever commit to that. I remember the first thing I ever saw was like a glimpse of Halloween 5 on the, the television, which was uh, the barn scene, the one with the pitchfork. Um, but like, obviously that's scared the death out of me. Uh, so this was the very, very first formula I was allowed to watch start to finish. AVP nowadays is seen more for the campy schlock that it is. Uh, but for little me, for little Bran, it was extremely terrifying, especially with the chest burster thing. Even if it doesn't hold up for its plot and characters, it's still a neat movie that you can watch with some popcorn and turn your brain off for. But obviously the other half of the AVP equation is the predator, an apex hunter and a master killer, which would fit right into the world of Dead by Daylight. It's actually cool that we bring this up now because previously a lot of people were apprehensive about bringing predator to the game because his power would be way too complicated because the ajuta's like arsenal of tools is bigger than batman's there's the uh the shoulder cannon there's the razor disc there's the arm claw there's a razor net there's like this character has so many tools in its tool belt and it was really really overwhelming especially in older dead by daylight to imagine having a character with that many powers but now we have characters like vecna and dracula where the whole thing is switching between different tools for different situations so we have essentially seen a test drive of how this could work so now in modern day 2024 dead by daylight predator could feasibly work they could just kind of like take in what they've already worked on and built up with vecna and dracula and extend it to just tools instead of like forms or spells so predator would actually work in dead by daylight now since behavior has had multiple characters under their belt of different types of power stance or power switch characters and it's no longer a limitation of theirs and especially now that predator is kind of having a revival with prey and the predator badlands movie coming out next year i feel like it's a great time to introduce the character to the game telltale's the walking dead clementine and lee going more over to kind of like a dream paragraph here and going over to the survivor side of things one of my dream ips would be to have clementine and lee from telltale's the walking dead the chapter would mean a lot to anyone who's grown up in the, like the last 10 years, the last decade in the gaming sphere. So it's the Telltale Walking Dead series dominated the landscape. You couldn't go anywhere without a streamer, a friend, or somebody playing the Telltale Walking Dead series. And it was with good reason. Clementine and Lee's journey really does pull on your heartstrings in a way that most games can only dream about emulating. A man given a second chance to take on a daughter that was never his own, giving everything he can to protect her is amazing. Clementine being dealt the worst hand a person can get from such a young age as well, but still learning to become a strong survivor and not really compromising on her moral ideals is a breathtaking journey to watch unfold. I think in, especially in the modern gaming world, even the most beloved characters can find hate from contrarians, negative Nancys, etc. But, but Lee and Clementine really stay above this which is proof of how great these two characters were written 
So I would love to play these two out in the fog and, and just imagine all the wonderful interactions they could have. They could have a, spe a specific line for facing Nemesis with the zombies. They could call out walkers and start, you know, kind of freaking out and panicking a little bit. Just the idea of like Lee and Clementine being in this kind of like pocket dimension where they can interact again and reunite and be on the same team that I would I would pay a lot of money to see that. So I really hope that they go this route over just doing the show, which is probably the most likely thing they're probably going to do uh, the, the show characters with Daryl and such. But um, I would prefer to see the Telltale characters, to be honest. And finally, the shot in the dark Jurassic Park. OK, the chances of this one happening are like astronomically low <laughs> i very much understand that but this is like dream chapters and this is my dream okay so let's talk about the dream i talked about this at, at the beginning of this video about how aliens vs predator was my first horror movie i was ever allowed to watch but the first movie ever that i ever watched in my life was jurassic park which still stands today as one of the greatest films of all time not just to me but objectively while it's mostly a movie about the moral lesson of greed, about playing God, etc. Underneath it is a very visceral horror thriller once the part goes awry and making it something sort of like a horror adjacent film, which is perfect for Dead by Daylight. Specifically, the killer I want would be the Velociraptor, a cunning and ruthless hunter, unclouded by any sort of moral quandaries, just the thrill of the hunt not the perk. If there's anything that will fill me with the same joy that getting Alien into Dead by Daylight did, it's the ability to stalk survivors as one of the most intense and frightening depictions of a dinosaur put on film. There is so much flexibility as well that behavior can pull off with this. They could do some sort of group power with the Velociraptors pack hunting. They could go simple with the tracking pound system. Their possibilities are vast and they could really go with anything and it would still fit the character. The map, the music, all of it would just like absolutely blow me away. And just even talking about it makes me upset that it's probably the most unrealistic chapter that we could get, but I, it would be so cool. There's a lot of things people hate about Dead by Daylight, but you know what people always love? Dinosaurs. Freaking dinosaurs. <laughs> so let's make it happen. Well, those are my three most wanted chapters since I already got my dream chapter, that being Alien. Do you want to see any of these dream IPs come to Dead by Daylight, or do you have a dream chapter in mind? I imagine that a certain hockey mask wearing guy comes to mind. So let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, I appreciate you so much for spending part of your day with me today. If you like this video, make sure you like it and subscribe. That way you can see more of it on your front page. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one. And if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.